We uh, left off with uh, two hands-on or a hands-on project. Create a map using a composite literal that stores author's name in one of their books. Print one of the entries. Print the whole map. So go link uh, playground, and then author's name and a book using a, a composite literal. And so I'm just going to put you know b colon equals. And it's going to be a map, and it's going to have a string for the author's name, and then oops. And then also a string for the book, and then a composite literal. And so now I'm going to just do some entries, and that's going to look like that. And here will be the author's name, and uh, and then the book, and um, and then uh, and the book. And let's format that. And then font uh, print line B. What's up, B? And there's my map Stephen King Shining, San Diego Zubri, Wind, Sound, and Stars. And if I B. Uh, printed the shining or shining and so that was create map using a composite literal it stores the author's name in one of their books print one of the entries print the whole map so I did that in reverse order but that's the solution so I think the composite literal thing is something you really want to cement in your brain there's many couple different ways you could do things in go you know and I think just choosing one of the ways and sticking with it is the best and when it comes to slices and maps you could use composite literal in both. So let me just copy the solution here and put it there. And uh, for composite literals, right, there's a map composite literal. If we wanted a slice composite literal, an X, S would be like a slice of string. That's a good variable to use for a slice of string. And uh, it'd be a slice of string, so the type, and then composite literal. Just like here, we had map, which is the type. That is the type. If we were to print the type of this, all right, the undefined format, pring, pring, print f. Uh, XS is declared, not used. <laughs> there we go. So if we were to print the type, that type is map string string of this. So we have the type right here and then just the composite literal. We have the type right here is all that and then just the composite literal. And so using a Using XS, where the X just sort of represents, you know, in your own mind, oh, this is a slice and S is string. That's a nice notation, or XI, slice of ends, you know. So that's, I think, one of the takeaways is stick with composite literals. Know that phrase, composite literal. You might hear slice literal. Well, slice literal is a composite literal for a slice. Or a map literal. A map literal is a composite literal for a map. And in the, one of the next videos, we're going to learn about structs. And we'll do struct literals, right? Where we'll, it's another way we can aggregate types together. And then you'll have all the data structures you need for doing stuff. You need a list of ints. Oh, I'm going to stick that in a slice. You need something to quickly look things up, a look a value up by a key. I'm going to think map. You need something to put a whole bunch of different data types together into one bundle. That's going to be a struct. They just call it a struct. So we'll learn about structs uh, pretty soon. Anybody have questions about that one? So I was just laughing because I thought you only use numbers or you can just shine and seven. Over here, no. See, this one is a string for the key and a string for the value. Okay. If I'd done int, then I'd have to use a number over oh, here. That's... Right? Okay. But there I said, okay, it's a string. So it works. Do you find I, uh, the, the, what are we recording right now? 
Yeah. Um, Go ahead, ask. <laughs> uh, uh, I, I find one of the most beneficial uh, uh, concepts of JavaScript is being able to build an object with multiple, you know, different types, uh, you know, numbers and strings, all kinds of stuff. Obviously, we're going to cover that with a struct. Yeah, struct does that. Is that the most commonly used scenario? It seems like for any real-world situation, being able to have a variety of things would be the most used elements. I don't really see so far the, the benefit of such restriction. Sure. Yeah, we're going to learn all about uh, that kind of uh, aggregate data type. And when I say aggregate data type, aggregating different pieces of data together, right? So we're going to uh, we're going to learn about that type of uh, aggregate or composite. You could use either word, data type, very soon. Structs, and then hopefully that Okay. sells you on the language and you become a convert. Go out into the world and create other Go programmers and have little Go programmer babies and pretty soon we'll be a big religion. So this is starting with a cool t-shirt like yours and, uh, and we'll see A cool t-shirt. See where it goes. <laughs> <laughs> Does memory involved in kind of saving a map, is that a lot smaller than uh, memory involved in saving a struggle? Because I don't know. <laughs> Uh, the question is, Is what's the memory impact of a map versus a struct versus a slice? I don't know. That's more like a Bill Kennedy question. He studies that stuff. <laughs>